Rushing to the school in emergency response late this morning, Cincinnati police weren't sure what they had on their hands. Withrow was on lockdown. Put out on social media. That got everybody in a little uproar. Here's a snippet of a student's Facebook stream. Somewhat simultaneously, officers were checking rooftops, exterior doorways, summoned originally on a report of a potential jumper. There was none. All this turned out to be a senior prank. Everybody's clearing yeah. except for our school resource officers. Like yeah, I said, yeah, no, they're going to be doing the follow-up investigation. Yeah. So they had some shaky video to go over and some cafeteria cleanup after what students described to us as a food fight gone wild. As soon as we got out the lunch line, food started throwing everywhere. We didn't even get to sit down or nothing. The senior story. I got, I got hit in my neck with a bowl of chili. I like, as soon as I got out the lunch line. In the back of my leg. Chili stains for the wash tonight. Students spoke of smoke bombs, shaving cream, airborne eggs, firecrackers. They cleaned the hallways. I mean, it still got a bad smell to it, but yeah, every Everything is cleaned up now, but they're very upset about it. Administrators and who's in trouble? We are. I believe we are in trouble because it, it went too far. Far enough to bring a swift police presence. It took minutes of uncertainty to determine there was no true emergency after all. It's just like when you have a bank alarm. We don't know if it's real or it's fake until we get there and investigate. According to CPS, staffers went around to each class this afternoon to reiterate the expectations of behavior. A robocall went out to parents explaining what happened today. No one hurt, but we're told if they can determine whoever is responsible for what happened today, that student or students will be reacquainted with the code of conduct. Reporting live at Withrow, John London, WWT News 5.